support of any map that breaks the city in half. Um, you know, that changed uh, a few years ago, and, and I think it has not helped us at all. Um, I think Taylor Unified is much stronger as opposed to divided. So uh, thanks again for doing that, and uh, I agree. And to that, can you just kind of comment, you know, instead of having one state rep and one senator, what has been your experience now that you have, you know, well, two senators and two state yeah, reps? Yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's different. I mean, we have two Republican state reps, and we have two Democratic uh, senators, and I, I get along with all of them. Um, mm -hmm. um, some are great at communicating, some maybe not so much. Um, but as a whole, I just think we have a much bigger voice if we have one, if, if, as a city. Um, because sometimes, you know, like there's one, um, one district that's broken up where it's just a small percentage of Taylor. Um, how do I say this, PC? I don't feel like we get the attention as much from that, that area, so to speak. So uh, I, I feel that when we're one solid city, I think it's much easier for us, plus it gives us a little more, you know, I guess power at, at the state level. Um, you know, when, we, when we're, we're one city of 60-some thousand people, um, people tend to listen to us more. So um, that's why I'm, I'm totally against seeing uh, us divided anyway, because when, when we first came in, um, you know, Mr. Johnson, we were solid in, in every, and then when they changed these maps, I'm not saying we don't have good leaders, um, but it's just, it, it, I think we have a much bigger voice when we're one city, when we're unified. That's what we're great at. So, how did it change? Uh, so, we, we used to be, for our state bureaucracy, it was, it was Taylor, which is the biggest, is the biggest city down the river, and Romulus and Van Buren, a part of Van Buren. Now, it's, it's Taylor split up, Certainly on the state rep side, we have had it, Taylor has always been big enough to either be a house district by itself, or at various times to be about two thirds of a house district. And so, even over all those years, they kept Taylor as the core of a state house seat, and then added a, a, additional areas. Um, for the longest time, it was Taylor and Ryan. Taylor being about two thirds, Ramos being one third. Uh, about 10 years ago, a little bit of Van Buren was added just to get to that 90,000 threshold. So a, a house district is about 90,000 people. And Taylor is 63,000. <coughs> Certainly, uh, everybody recognized that over the years. And if you go back, you can you know, go through the names from uh, Al Sheridan, you know, from the 60s and the 70s into the 80s and since, and all those uh, individuals you can catch it basically they came from the city of Taylor. Um, but certainly it was there was an opportunity for somebody from Rockless. Um, likewise on the Senate side, right, the, the the majority of Taylor was kept whole over the past thirty, four years as long as I can remember. And it was only you know, there was a we lost I believe three or three square miles because that area is under a different zip code. And I think when they went through and drew the maps, they didn't realize that that was part of Taylor. But it was kind of a lower density area along Pennsylvania Road from uh, Beach Daily over to Allen. So um, certainly it didn't keep us unified, but it didn't split us 50-50. It was more 95-5% you know, or 95% 5%. The current plan, uh, as much as it clerk, it's hard to tell exactly where it is, because there's some like weekly lines, and I know from past experience that when they do these things rather quickly, they make mistakes. I believe I was the only state representative that received votes in an area that I did not represent. The 2012 maps were skewed on the x-axis, and when Van Buren went to implement their election along with Wayne County, they thought that the line was drawn a lot along Warden Taylor Road, and instead it was supposed to be Tyler Road, which is not actually, it's platted but not built. So in the 2012 election,
election, I received votes in an area that I did not legally represent. And so when these things happen quickly, and I agree, Councilman, this is going quickly, right? There was all this public comment, but there is not a lot of time to comment about what has been proposed. And I would urge the entire council that we be unified. And the only statement that we are making here is that we believe that Taylor should uh, be made, should be kept together uh, in any manner. Chairman? Yes. Is there anything that people can do at home? Really, the public comment, the, the public comment uh, portion has passed, and again, it, there's got to be some feedback for whatever group does this 10 years from now, that uh, they, they need to do a better job in holding you know, hearings. And I understand they've got to have hearings throughout the state on the original maps, but the maps as they needed to be, there were only certain districts, there were like, four or five that were challenged in court. But once you start messing with the jigsaw puzzle, it, this redistricting now affects many more than those original five, right? You can't just shuffle the chairs and keep those districts the same in order to come up with a plan that the federal court is going to, uh, uh, to approve. Uh, and, and that's it, the, the federal courts, we said, we, the people of the state of Michigan, wanted this Michigan Independent Resource Commission to do things without interference. They did that, and then some people were disgruntled, and the federal courts forced them to go back and redraw it. The commission did not want to redraw this. They did not want to have to, you know, they're, they're the defendants in this. They did not want to put forward this plan. So this, but this plan is Compromise, and frankly, I don't believe it is. It, it, if the different communities of interest want to express themselves, the best one to comment for the residents of the city of Taylor at this point in time is the Taylor City Council. And that is why this is not a normal proclamation where we're saying nice things about somebody. We don't have the mayor on here, we don't have the clerk, we don't have the treasurer. This is the voice of the city of Taylor to simply say at this point in time, that we don't believe that this plan, as presented, is fair and it should not be implemented. What they do next 